Hey, what's up guys? You sitting here uh, out in the bow trying to get some fresh air. It's a big day today because today is my wife's birthday. And so I'm taking her to the Janet Jackson concert. So she's pretty excited about that. Um, but I was making this video because I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, PenFed Credit Union, right? And their personal loans. Because a lot of people are like, well, I got a good credit score, but they still deny me. So they're trying to figure out, okay, so what's up? Well, here's the thing about it. Many people know that Penn Fed, they use FICO 9, which I love. Again, because you can have uh, authorized users. Uh, you can have rental payments. You can have subscriptions. And you can have utility bills to help build up your FICO 9. So they pull Equifax FICO 9. Now, the interesting thing about it is that because Penn Fed is like your major banks, if you have a high DTI, like if you have a high DTI above 55%, they may deny you. But there's some other reasons they may deny you as well. Plus, I know of a easier credit union not only to join, but at the same time, they actually use Vantage Score. So for those of you that haven't uh, seen my videos and stuff, I think this is one, this credit union I'm gonna be talking about, I think it's better than even uh, Navy Federal because it uses a Vantage Score, because a lot of people wanna know who uses Vantage Score, all right? So I'm gonna tell you that. But let's talk about Penn Fed. People are not even aware that you can actually get two products with Pen Fed with one hard pull. But here's the key to that. Say that you apply for the Pen Fed loan uh, with that hard inquiry, then you have to follow up the next day and apply for like a car loan or a credit card and stuff. So that's how you able to use that um, that a uh, hard pull multiple times with pen fed and most people miss out on that opportunity now here's something else that a lot of people uh don't know like with pen fed if you're out of, you guys coming out of a bankruptcy say that you're like maybe uh six to nine months out of a bankruptcy they will give you uh they will still give you like a credit card and stuff like that now going back to the loans i know it can be more challenging to get the loans but you're averaging 620 640 credit score and they still will give you a personal loan with no docs so the way you join is opening up a savings account with five dollars but hey to get a personal loan with a 620 640 credit score um, with no docs is definitely a bonus. Now, here's some of the things I would tell you that may get you denied, okay? Now, sorry, sorry about that, a little distracted. But that being said, what's up with uh, Penn Fed getting denied is that like you may have too many open revolving accounts, right? And I continue to tell people, when you have too many open revolving accounts, that's pretty much with any lender. It looks like you're struggling, right? And so by looking like you're struggling, here, I'm going to show you all the golf course, you know, so you all can see. I, I like it out here. I usually stay out here like... Um, Maybe one, once a year, at least once a year, I stay out here on this here golf course. But, of course, I don't know how to play golf. Uh, but I like staying out here, for that matter. Um, but that being said, so situation, uh, with going back to Penn Fed, is that the length of time of your accounts. So if you have multiple accounts uh, and they're just brand new, they may deny you. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Also, too many inquiries. That's right. I, I, again, this is something else that affects people having too many inquiries. So with Pen Fed, again, I would say to play it, play it safe. 
is to do about six, maximum eight inquiries, six if you can, on your uh, Equifax, okay? Because mo most people, they know that TransUnion, Experian mostly, they would use or whatever. But with Equifax, um, you definitely want to try to keep those inquiries down, especially when you're getting a, trying to get a loan. Now, in reference to... Who are some of the other lenders that you can actually go to? So if you don't get qualified for PenFed, and that may be because you have a 750 credit score, but you have a high DTI above 55%. So now you're going to be looking at like upgrade, which their loans are higher because they offer anywhere from a thousand up to um, 50,000 for a loan. Then you have Upstart that offers up a thousand to up to fifty thousand, and their DTIs, those type of lenders go anywhere from 70 75 percent DTI. Okay, now they usually want to talk about income. I would definitely tell you that your income should at least be a thousand plus a month. Okay, especially with uh, with like Upstart. You know, and sometimes like those type of lenders, all the third party are very flexible. Sometimes they may ask you for more documentation than with like paying the Fed. OK, so just keep that in mind. Now, the credit union I was actually talking about is um, BC, uh, BCU, Baxter Credit Union. And Baxter Credit Union actually uses Vantage score. So when you go to like your credit karma, OK, your credit karma scores, you would go there and they would give you a TransUnion and a Equifax score. Right. Then you have um, even American Express. You can go to American Express and get your uh, Vantage 3 TransUnion score. And that's what backs your credit union pulls. Right. So if you have a good um, Vantage score, then Baxter Credit Union probably be a good situation to go to in terms of trying to get a personal loan using your Vantage score, okay? Now, I always tell you guys that uh, with a lot of lenders, they don't look at the Vantage score. They usually look at a FICO score. Even with American Express giving you a Vantage score, what ends up happening is that they are actually going to pull your FICO score, your FICO 8 score, okay? And so by them pulling your FICO 8 score, then you're going to be looking at, um, with them pulling your FICO 8 score, you see this guy, see how well he can hit. Pulling your uh, FICO 8 score, what ends up happening is that they're either going to pull your Experian or trans experian by itself or experian and trans union however with american express just keep in mind that uh once you have an account with them then they usually won't do any other hard pulls okay so just keep that in mind but for those of you that may have questions about business credit funding personal credit funding uh click the link in the description like i said guys i'm just out um I wanted to come out here and check out the golf course before I get ready to go back and take my wife out to a uh, brunch. I tell you one thing that sucks is that my um, that my kids uh, they're not here with us this time. My one my one, my son he's in Vegas and then my daughter she decided to stay home with her friends. So it, it's my first time leaving them uh, by themselves. So it makes me kind of comfortable. I guess for those of you that are parents, you probably can relate, especially when it's your first time leaving them. But nonetheless, if you have any questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.